yo, yo, it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in real quick on Ray J popping out, doing an interview with Daily Mail and exposing everything that's been going on behind the scenes from day one when it comes to him, Kim Kardashian, and Kris Jenner, and the real popular Ray J and Kim K sex tape. Now, whether you care, give two cares, two Fs, or two Ss about this situation, it's still one of the most popular entertainment moments in the history of going viral. And it kind of started a trend and kicked off that Kardashian brand to get to this billion-dollar corporation that they have now created. Ray J is saying all of it's a facade, and it's all a lie from day one, how I got put out, how I got exposed, and the storyline behind it. It came up now recently again, once we seen WAC 100 go into the bootleg Kev interview and say that he had another copy of the tape. It's been around him for 11 years and he wanted to gift that to Kanye. This later read, led into events where Kanye met up with them, a tape was given and everything. Ray J is now saying all of this is a lie, not just the stuff with Kanye or who met up with who, all of it. So he sat down with Daily Mail and he said this right here. Exclusive. Ray J breaks his silence. Hip hop star reveals second sex tape with Kim K does exist and she has the only copy. As he shares texts where she debunks her Hulu claim, he planned to leak it and says Vivid Deal was orchestrated by him, Kim and Chris. In a bombshell exclusive interview, Ray J lays bare the truth about the sex tape with Kim K with Kim Kardashian that became an international sensation. I was setting the shadows, allowing the Kardashians to use my name, abuse my name, make billions of dollars, talking about a topic I've never really spoken about, the hip hop star told DailyMail.com. Kim, Kim's former lover revealed she has a second tape of the two of them having sex and she kept it in a Nike shoebox under her bed. Kim has always been in possession of all the sex tapes she made with Ray J. He has never owned copies of any of them, he said. Ray J said he did not leak any tape and the release was, is, and is a business partnership between him, Kim, and Kris Jenner. He made the claim after Kim, 41, claimed on her new Hulu show that she was worried he would leak it. He said he was outraged that Kim K had claimed on the show that he might have a tape showing him put a dildo in her ass while she slept. That makes me sound like a rapist, Ray J. Ray J, 41, said. In a text to Ray J, Kim admits, if you're upset about the dildo comment, it was clearly a sarcastic joke and I was laughing when I said it. Earnings from the tape released in 2007 have reached an estimated $100 million worldwide. So you take that how you want to take that. I'll put the text up if y'all want to read it. Where, her, where Ray J and Kim K are going back and forth. And he's telling her he's not feeling how the image is being played. How she's talking about him putting a dildo in her ass. And that makes him look like he's some type of sick nigga. Understand Ray J is a family man. He announced that in the beginning when they started talking about the sex tape. Hey, man, I got kids, too. I got a family, too. I'm not trying to have this all out there. Don't just think about them. They looking like victims over there. But, hey, fam, nah, like, I'm tired of being that guy. So Ray J put all this stuff out, and he said even more than that. And I'm going to have a link in the description if y'all want to go read everything up. But I do feel where Ray J coming from, bro. Don't nobody want to get put out there on the video because that narrative is getting pushed to a lot of people. Like, hey, man, this nigga sick, man. Like, he's still holding this sex tape over this girl head after all these years. What type of nigga is he? It make his brand look bad. It make him look bad as a family man. And he like, bro, I was never on that type of time in the first place. And I never had another extra copy in the first place. So I get what Ray, Ray J probably like, hey, man, they still marketing, making money off this spreading this narrative, getting a check off of this, making me look like the bad guy. He got to come out and speak his piece and speak his truth on the situation. So I can clearly understand why Ray J would say what he said. 
He also added this too, or this was put in the write-up also. You want me to continue to act the bad guy and you guys have brainwashed me into thinking that's okay. He says the only copies of any tapes that still exist are with Kim. Ray J said, she knows there's nothing else. I don't have a tape to leak. I've never had, I've never leaked the tape. I don't have a plan to ruin them. When I put on the comments that all of this is a lie, I didn't mean Kanye coming to meet with me about some second sex tape. I mean, all of this is a lie. From the beginning of us putting this sex tape out, this has been the biggest lie in the industry and the history of entertainment, he added. They're not letting the world know that there's a bunch of sex tapes that we made, but they're, they're not going anywhere because she has them all. So... Putting that all together, bro, that shit is crazy. But that's marketing for you. That's business for you. Can I blame the Kardashians for taking this shit to the next level? Hell nah, they went after the business play. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't put myself out there like that. Ray J stayed quiet as long as he could. They keep bringing this shit up. Kim said that she thought when Wack got in the interview and was talking about it, he was going to release that information again or had something else or... It was just getting back in the news, but she said they're going to put out a piece and clear everything up and everything like that on next episode. But I'm going to be honest with you, bro. The damage already done, Kim. That shit kind of lame as fuck. No, it ain't kind of lame. It is lame. Like, why would you even throw that type of shit out there about a nigga with him sticking a dildo in your ass? Ain't nothing funny about that with our culture. Don't no nigga want that shit thrown on them? Hell nah. That shit ain't cool. That shit ain't player. That shit ain't acceptable at all. Also, on top of that, her run you just see how disconnected they really are, bro. I don't have a personal problem with the Kardashians or nobody over there. They live how they live. I just take people what they show me. I take that into consideration, and I move with that. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. Do what you do. But if you the type of motherfucker, get with a nigga, let him initial a nigga kid's name on his neck, okay, I just see what type of time you on. I move accordingly. I see you go nigga to nigga, create imagery about every nigga, create narratives about every nigga, and now Ray J exposing y'all creating a narrative about him, and you talking about it like it's a joke when this man got kids out here too. Talking about sticking dildos and asses? Nah, my nigga. I don't want that type of shit out there by me. My kids got to see that motherfucking shit. And all it is to you, oh, we'll clean it up. Nah, fuck all that. I get where Ray J coming from. Kim K, y'all are successful. Do what y'all do. But I just would move accordingly when I get around people when they show me who they is. 1,000. Stay on your pivot for shit show, man. We got more coming. I keep y'all updated. Hundred million dollar play. Billion dollar corporation. That's the real reason I spoke on this shit because I really don't be giving a fuck about all that relationship type shit. But this was a big moment in goddamn entertainment history for sure. Tell me what y'all think about it, man. Turn the notification bell on. Catch this shit when we drop it. Stay on your pivot.